Hi guys, my name is Ivan. Uh, I'm from Canada, uh, southwestern Ontario. This is my 95 Chevy van. We've had it for about 12 years now. Um, it's kind of cool. We, we like it a lot. It's got, uh, it originally was a white van, white plain old car cargo van. We chose blue and silver for it and then we had Ivan Medic, I'm sure you know of him, paint a mural on it. So the mural on my van is, is uh, a bunch of scenes from Canada and if you walk around it, it kind of tells you a little about Canada. So this, this Back here, we, might if I walk through here, yeah. guys? Mm -hmm. uh, this, this, this is supposed to represent the prairies out west. There's some clouds that Ivan painted on, and it's a really cool effect. If you're looking from one way or the other, sometimes they look like storm clouds. Sometimes they're nice and bright. Uh, this is supposed to be Lake Louise out in western Western Canada. That's a CF5. Uh, I was in the military for several years. It was my, my one of my favorite airplanes to work on. So that represents uh, the Canadian military. So it's just kind of all about representing Canada. Uh, before we go to the other side, I can tell you a little bit about my wheels. I've got a set of, uh, they're called Hobsters, 17 inch, 7s in the front, 8s in the back. And I've had those for about 17 years. They went through, uh, this is the third vehicle I've had them on. I had them on station wagons on, before I had them on this. And I'm real fond of them. I, I like the size of them. They're just, give it a bit of a look without being too, too, too aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, the wing in the back is kind of unique. I picked that up from a gentleman. And it's the only one that I've ever seen like that. It looks a bit like an old 70s Camaro wing. And I get a lot of compliments on it, a lot of comments on it. Yeah, you got the roof vent on there too. I do have a roof vent on it, which I probably wouldn't have put on, but it was already holding the roof when I bought the van. Well, they're good to have. So I like having it yeah. for, the, for the ventilation. Mm -hmm. uh, my latest change is I added some plywood to the back of these windows to give me some privacy. So it's really funny watching people stick their faces up and try to look inside <laughs> the van and all they see is black. And that was the intention, just to make it look tinted. Mm -hmm. um, I had these neat, neat little shelves that I made years ago. They're, they're due for a revamp. But the idea of them is when, when this bed comes down into, oh, this, this seat comes down into a bed, I still have storage to drop my glasses oh, yeah. in here and such, mm -hmm. and some larger items underneath. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got storage. I've got this cool little compartment here that I created, oh, wow. being held shut with bungee cord. I've never actually stored anything in there, but that would be a good place to store a few small things. Mm -hmm. And these side panels open up as well. For storage down below oh yeah there and so that goes all the way along the side i've been told that judges like to see secret little pockets like that mm -hmm. so i but unfortunately i never i never tend to show it uh, my speaker pods i made myself from what used to be from a conversion van but i've modified them to suit the style of the van as i've already expressed the seat does lay down flat mm -hmm. it's power operated mm -hmm. so that's kind of a handy unit down here you've got my trailer hitch which uh, it was an idea that I had when we built the van it had the great big bumper on it and a spare tire we want to smooth out the back so we put a smooth chrome bumper and then I needed a hitch well I didn't want to put a big ugly hitch underneath it so if you look at this piece of tubing here it actually goes up behind the license plate and get pinned by that so I have a hitch underneath there but when I remove it you see no hitch mm -hmm. keeps that that clean look that I like uh, if you guys want to follow me to this side, I can show you the rest of the mural. It's yeah. different from side to side because it's a bunch of Canadian scenes. Uh -huh. So right here we've got a nod to the government with the Parliament building. That's the Blue Nose 2, represents the East Coast. Niagara Falls, of course, the Canadian side of the falls. That's a skyline of Toronto. Um, a nod to the Americans and Canadian natives. And this is, this is my favorite part. This is Terry Fox. A uh, famous Canadian hero. It's a young man who ran across Canada in the early 80s, or partway across Canada on one leg. Oh, he, wow. was a, he was a cancer patient who decided to raise awareness for cancer, and he ran a marathon every day from the East Coast to the Thunder Bay area. So Ivan, there's Ivan's name, mm -hmm. he, he's been up there, and of course there's placards and all that. What happened is he got his first Thunder Bay, the doctors pulled him off the road, and discovered his cancer was back and unfortunately we lost a young man mm -hmm. but to this day every september the uh, they still run the races and raise money for cancer wow. so this this is spe really special for me very cool um other than that we got a little console up front that we made for the cup holder something that we made up years ago because there's so little room in these we kept the interior as stock as we could but i like i like the clean interior i don't like too much clutter on the inside mm -hmm. And you'll see from if I open the back here, you can see that's fairly smooth and clean and tidy. Yeah, lots of room. Yeah, that's so that, it's always yeah. nice. Yeah, and of course this this lays down into a bed, right? Mm -hmm. So if you get lots of room when we're not using the bed. So. Yeah. Is that a refrigerator or just storage? Or? That's actually just a storage cabinet. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've got the the power supply. If I open this, you're going to see all my junk. 
There's all my junk. There go. Yeah, well, we all got that. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. all have that. So, yeah. <laughs> And that, that sign, a friend of mine came up with this idea. We were partying together when he made this, he, he made this quote one day. It just says, uh, like, a, like a mustard stain on the Mona Lisa. He was talking about something standing out. And it caught my, my attention. It was so funny. And he made that up for me. Cool. So it's part of the van now. Yeah, very nice. Now there's your speakers back there. There's the speakers back there that I made up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. What Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, nice and clean. Oh. Lots of room. That's 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 important too. Very cool, man. Love it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we're here at the. Where are we at here? Oh, we're at Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare. Nightmare. My first time to make it to Nightmare. Very cool. So I'm really really excited to be here. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm getting to know a lot of people. People, a lot of faces here I've never seen before, and of course, the familiar faces like yourself, New John. New banners. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. A good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's exciting for us. We're having well, a great time. Yeah. All right, well, sure. thanks for showing us your Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks a lot, cool. John.